For my paper, I researched acupuncture. Specifically, I found information on where it can be used and also dove into how well it performs. At first, I just searched for a general background on the practice. It was here that I found its history as well as the basics of how it works. Following this, I began to search for arguments that supported it as well as ones that tried to tear it down. Since I first looked for mostly things that sided with it, my initial research led me to a conclusion, a premature one at that, that acupuncture actually works. The first two sections of my essay cover areas that I found that it is used in, specifically mental health treatment, in particular anxiety, and the military. It was the military that was particularly surprising to me, as it was not an industry that I expected to find acupuncture being used in. This article actually was one of the things that helped to convince me that at first acupuncture was backable, scientifically at least, to quote the prompt. Looking back, this was probably not the best idea, as I should have considered both sides more fully before really getting into the writing process. Once I did start to look at more counter arguments, it became clear to me, or more clear at least, that my first opinion was not as accurate as I had hoped. I began to see that, to quote the prompt for the topic again, acupuncture is not very scientifically viable. The counter arguments that I looked at, although not many, mostly said the exact same things. They were not trying to poke random tiny different holes in little places of acupuncture. They attacked the same areas and made strong convincing arguments. They also helped me realize that the evidence that I did find in favor of acupuncture was mostly situational and when looked at from a wider angle, really not enough to fully supported. It. it was here that my own opinion began to come in. Some people might want to throw away things like acupuncture if they hear that it is not completely 100% proven. I personally believe that this is not necessary. If something is hurting you, or if something is bothering you, and there is a way to ease that pain or discomfort, as long as it is safe, it should not be tossed aside for any reason. As I said in my paper, I think that belief should be enough in these cases. There is no cure-all for calming someone down from something like an anxiety attack. Different things work for different people. Maybe acupuncture is not guaranteed to help someone's physical or mental pain. This, however, should not disqualify it from helping the people that it is useful for, however few they may be.